how to I work to school every single day. Hi, um, this is my first ever YouTube video, so welcome. I'm Sarah and I'm an Iranian 18 year old student living in Tehran and for today's video I am going to compare different parts of high school, different stuff about high school in Iran and in North America on the whole, America, Canada, something, somewhere in between, yeah. You know, most Iranians, most uh, young Iranians know how, what high school is like in America or in Canada, you can say, but I don't think many Americans know anything about the whole experience in Iran. The first thing that I want to talk about is the uniform. This is what I wear to school every single day. Yeah. And it's all the same all around Iran. The color might change, the color of this thing or this thing, but yeah, the shape is almost identical all around your eye. So, here's your fashion show, catwalk. So in Iran, all schools are all girls or all boys schools and we don't go to school together, so... Um, and even our teachers are most of the time women in my school, for example. But in America, of course, public high schools are not all girls or all boys school. And people usually even have um, relationships in high school. It's so common and you have time and there's drama and everything. But in Iran, nope. Not, not gonna happen. And um, that's why most Persian girls don't have boyfriends in their teenage years. Like, I have never had a boyfriend and every single person I know, all of my friends have never had a boyfriend and I'm 18, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's just the way it is. And it, it's not like that, it never happens, but like I can tell you that 90% of teenage girls don't have boyfriends. And the next difference is the architecture. When I watch American high school movies, I see how huge the school is. There are really long hallways and that people always manage to bump into each other uh, during break times but in Iran the architecture of schools, especially high schools, are so different for example, we don't have any lockers in our hallways students do not have lockers we sit on benches yeah, like the actual bench that you see in parks, we sit on them most of the time. Right now, I'm going to show. I'm going to show you a Persian high school class and American, so you can see the difference here. Another difference is students driving to school in high school. In Iran, we get our driver's license at the age of 18, so. We don't get the chance to drive to school. That has always been a fantasy of mine. <laughs> like I always uh, imagine myself driving to like American high school and like parking the car in the parking lot. <laughs> but yeah, that never happens. Now another major difference: we really do not have a sex ed class. <clears throat> the most we get is how to be a good wife, yeah, and how to stay clean, 
when you're on your period. You only get that one, that much of a sex ed. That's not really sex ed, but yeah. That's all we get. The last major, major difference <laughs> is how we get to go to a university. In Iran, there is a very difficult exam, entrance exam. Uh, called concours, which is actually a French word. I myself am so very lucky that I'm moving to Canada to continue my studies, but all my friends right now, what, probably while I'm filming this video, are, <laughs> are doing practice tests. And uh, yeah, it's no jokes, it's no fun, and it is ridiculously difficult. So in the, in the concours, which is the entrance exam, you have physics, chemistry, biology, math, English, Arabic, yeah, Arabic, uh, Persian literature, religious studies, yup, our religious studies is in our entrance exam. And uh, what else? Is there anything else? Many students get very extremely depressed and anxious during their year, the year they're preparing for concours. Your whole future is based on that exam. And if you want to retake it, you have to wait a whole year. So a whole year of your life is wasted to study again for that exam. So yeah, that's not fun. And here is a clip of how many books I own from the time I studied for a concours in my grade 10 and grade 11. Yeah, I did start studying for a concours when I was 16. So these are my grade 12. Uh, government book and these plus these are my grade 10 and grade 11 practice books and government these are the government books this is the grade 10 biology book that I studied and these are the practice tests. They're written in Persian. And these are the parts that I studied. For example, this is about the heart and it's quite difficult, not gonna lie. This was my first ever YouTube video, so thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next video.